this is what we left last time. We can um, move the character. Uh, we have a uh, move forward, move back, left and right, and then we can turn our player controller to see the world, but we don't have any animation. So now um, we are going to create uh, animation for our character. So in Unreal, um, if we want to create an animation for a character, we need to create an uh, animation instance. So um, this is a like a, a default role uh, from Unreal Engine. So so we create a C++ class, and uh, uh, we show all classes in animate instance. Okay, right there, and uh, next, and we change our instance name to K any instance. And it will put under the uh, ERK shooter project folder. So let's create. You see here it, it, is, it is compiling, but in fact we don't want to we don't want this, right? Because sometimes it will cause editor crash. So um, by default when you add a new C code, the compiler will the editor will help you compiling, but we want to compile from our Visual Studio, right? So uh, we can disable this uh, in our setting. So give you a second, give you a second, and uh, we can disable this later. Okay, so um, we finished. Uh, let Let's close this setting first. Go to the editor preference and then you type compile. Oops. Right, and here, hard reload, automatically compile newly at C++ class. We don't want that, so disable it. Okay, then um, go back to your uh, Visual Studio and uh, click Reload All. Yeah, after Reload, you found we have a K anime, any instance C++ and the Ash. Okay, so this is our uh, C++ class. So now we are preparing to um, create uh, an the the uh, the animation for the character. So you can image that when we are playing the anim animation for the character, we need some state to let us know this character is in the air or this character is moving and we can change the animation, right? So we know those states can help us uh, in the future. So now uh, we can start to implement those flag in our C++. So for example, here, um, normally they have two um, function uh, we need to override. So the first one uh, we need to, uh, basically we will put those function, the first in their public is public session. So the first one is the na native initial uh, animation. This function is a virtual function and then we override in our class. So what is this function do? Uh, is it like a, a constructor? It's not really, it's, a, it's not real constructor for this class, but you can see like uh, when the animation do the initialization, uh, this function will be called so we can do some initial thing in this function. And there, another one is the uh, native car update animation function. So this one is like a, a tick function in our normal class. So when uh, a system run, running, uh, this function will be called and there you will pass the delta time. So in this function, we will update our state. 
like uh, in the air or the player speed something. So yeah, that's uh, created. So okay, and create the implementation. Okay, here. So uh, because we are in a override the function, so don't forget to call it super function. Okay. So the first one, uh, we just call it super, and the second, the second one, uh, we call it, it's super. So now we can start to create a variable. Uh, for example, uh, we are trying to uh, create a speed. We want to take a note what speed we have, and uh, or um, does this character in the A in, in the air and uh, or someone does user press the input maybe they just like a press a keyboard and the keyboard can feel the accelerating so maybe someone press the game pad something like that and yeah and to because those um variable like a speed and in the air those variable uh, come from them a movement component and the movement component right now is in the character right this movement component is one of the component in our character so which means if we can uh, have a variable to save the character's address it will easier to us to access these three uh, variable so we need one um, variable to take a note or to let us can save our k character at uh, address okay so we need these four uh, at least right now and uh, uh, go to our c++ so of course for the initial uh, animation function we will try to get uh, the character address like this so we try to get our pawn owner which means it's a player, the character we are control right now, and we cast to our A character. Right here, K character is our class name. And then we can uh, store this address to our uh, class variable here. Okay. So after the initialization, so we supposedly we will have this uh, character can use. And uh, in the tick like every frame uh, every frame when uh, this function be called and we start to updating our uh, variable but uh, at the first beginning because the case the, the cast can is a <clears throat> is a possibility can be null if casting fail and this address will be null so we do the uh, quick check and uh, uh, first of all, we get the velocity. We through we we get a velocity through this uh, uh, a player, which means the character, and we get a velocity. But uh, for the speed, um, we are we can get a speed from the size, but we don't care about the uh, vertical velocity, which means we only care about the velocity velocity in x y plane so we set our z uh, direction to zero then we can get uh, the velocity uh, on x y plane so we update our speed here and uh, there's a is falling uh, function on the character movement component and we can use this uh to to our to represent uh this character in the air or not and uh, the last one is uh we try to use the get current acceleration size if the size is larger than zero then we return true which means someone is pressing uh the keypad or input from keyboard okay so we can update the result 
to our uh, is input set rating. Okay. So we save save the file. And uh, oh, let me check. Oh, in there because uh, we need to include some header file. So because here um, we are going to use the character uh, movement. So we need to uh, input. Uh, we need to include the movement component and uh, of course here the K character. Right, the K character here, and uh, we need to input our. We need to include our um, K character. And uh, let's see our. Uh, yes, here because we do the uh, forward declaration, so we don't have to include anything here. And yeah, let's try to create close our previous editor first, and uh, control F five to build. Okay, and uh, there this is an like a update uh, editor. Now we have the uh, we create our instance, but this is a C++ class, right? And uh, we if we want to use the instance in the editor, we need to create a bridge, which means it's the blueprint. So um, here we are under the uh, shooter character, and then I create another folder animation called animation. We Put all the animation stuff here, and uh, we can create a um, um, animation. Uh, we create a uh, animation instant, right? Animation. Oh, blueprint here. And uh, the parent class, I will choose the K any instant from our C++. So this is our parent class, and. Uh, the skeleton means okay. This animation is for which skeleton, and because we are using a Marduk, so we use the Marduk skeleton. So click OK, and uh, I will use I will rename this to K any uh, instant BP. Okay, so we after that we double click. Now we have our animation instant, and uh, uh, we can use this space to uh, create uh, a different state, uh, like idle state, and uh, we can put which which uh, animation we want to play in the idle or running. So yeah, uh, we can start to implement uh, the locomotion.